Hello everyone, Stephen Clark here, back with the latest news from Thailand and Southeast Asia. First stop, Thailand. Jailed for parting and defying emergency degree. Thailand launches into space. No, seriously, they're launching a satellite into space to prevent foreign powers from spying on Thailand. A river of dams, the Battery of Asia. Deputy Prime Minister and Public Health Minister A Newton wants dibs on the first jab of the Chinese coronavirus vaccine. Mazda rolls out its new BT50 for 2021. Very nice pickup. And from Thailand's fishery department, salmon cannot carry the Chinese coronavirus. It's official. Tourists banned from the first wave of travel bubble, says A Newton, Deputy Prime Minister and Public Health Minister. Thailand, Bangkok, bar raided nearly 100 revelers charged with breaching emergency degree. Utia, 18 teenagers jail for parting and defying emergency degree as well. Nearly 100 party goers have been arrested and charged with violating the emergency degree after police raided a bar in Bangkok in the early hours of the morning. Following a tip-off that an illegal party involving drugs and alcohol was being held at the fake Illusions Bar in the Bangkok district of the capital, 50 officers were sent to check out the situation. They found 96 revelers, 64 males, 32 females, consuming alcohol, dancing to loud music. Four of them were underage. Tests carried out at the scene revealed presence of drugs in the urine of 11 males and 12 female partygoers. The authorities also confiscated over 20 bags of what is thought to be methamphetamine and pills. The substances has been sent to the lab for confirmation. A search of one of the cars parked in front of the bar uncovered a Beretta handgun and 10 bullets. Everyone present has been charged with violating the emergency degree which bans social gathering during the ongoing coronavirus situation. Those who have tested positive for drug use are being sent to hospital for additional tests and face further charges relating to drug use. The car found at the scene has also been impounded while police determine the source of the gun. Just a few months ago in a separate incident, 18 teenagers were handed jail terms for violating the terms of the emergency degree by holding a party and abusing drugs in the Utia area which is just north of Bangkok, the capital. The prosecutors indicted the teenagers for breaching the degree and also taking part in mass gatherings and for drug use. The teenagers were arrested on March the 30th after officials received a tip-off from residents in Utia. Homeowners reported illegal drugs were being taken at a party held at a raft house on the Chapraya River. Authorities seized marijuana, ecstasy pills, well, the works another drug paraphernalia from the teenagers in the house. The court sentenced the first two defenders to one month in jail for defying the emergency degree, while the remainder were given four months jail term each, above all for violating the degree and drugs. Space. The final frontier. Oh, sorry, wrong script. One second, one second. Okay, got it. Spock. High in the sky, set for launch in Thailand. Thailand's Air Force is set to launch a security satellite with its core mission to prevent foreign powers from spying on Thailand. The head of the Air Force Space Operations Center, Spock for short, said the security satellite is scheduled for launch on Friday. The satellite, known as Napa-1, will have cameras that will play a crucial part in the Royal Thai Air Force's defence system, strengthening national security and preventing threats, the source said. Chief of the Air Force Space Operations Centre, or SPOC if you like, said the Air Force doesn't intend to use this satellite for warfare or track specific individuals. Above all, it's to upgrade general security systems, he said. Security is also one of Thailand's national strategies and part of the Air Force's 20-year strategy plan, he said. Spock was established last year as part of the Air Force's bid to improve the country's space security, he said. And as we all know, space is the final frontier. 
One of Spock's core missions is space situation awareness, an operation conducted to identify possible space security threats, such as suspected spying activity by foreign satellites in a shared orbit, he said. Also to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations around the Thai borders, to boldly go where no Thai man has gone before into outer space. Space Operation Center, or what's commonly known as SPOC, will be able to protect all ties from any wrongdoing. You really gotta ask yourself, do these guys have any toys when they were kids? A river of dams and the battery of Asia. Water levels at the Lower Mekong Basin are at a historical low, according to the government's watchdog, despite the onset of the rainy season in Southeast Asia. Eleven massive dams straddle the mighty Mekong River before it leaves China and flows into Myanmar, Laos, Thailand and Cambodia, and on into Vietnam. According to the data provided by the Mekong River Commission, the water level in Nikon Penong was at 2.4 metres, well under the mid-range average of 4.5 metres. It is the lowest water level recorded in the last 20 years. Other provinces across Northeast Asia are reporting similar low levels. The colour of the Mekong is usually red because of the sediment flow, but this is the first in years, more than 20 years, where we have had crystal clear water. It means the water is not flowing. Compared to the other years, the water level is significantly lower. There has been hardly any rain in the past months. Experts say that unless there is an increased water discharge into the Mekong, farmers and fisheries will bear the brunt of the consequences come dry season. The China Factor The damming of the Upper Mekong by China has caused massive droughts downstream. The severe lack of water in the Lower Mekong during the wet season of 2019 was largely influenced by the restriction of water flowing from the Upper Mekong during that time. China and other Mekong countries must show more transparency in their water data to ensure that those living in the Mekong can fight back against any eventuality. China needs to stop being greedy and cutting off water to the lower countries of the Mekong. That water is for everybody, not just for China. Oh look, China's building another dam. A Newton Chun Virakon once dibs on the first jab. Yes, Deputy Prime Minister and Public Health Minister Newton Van Chirikon has to volunteer to be the first person to be injected with experimental Thai-made Chinese coronavirus vaccine, according to Transport Minister Saksayam Chidchob. Mr. Satsayam said Mr. Newton informed him at a recent meeting of the Centre for COVID-19 Situation Administration that the development of the Chinese coronavirus vaccine by the Thai research is making tremendous progress. Monkeys have already received the trial vaccine and in the next step it will be injected into humans. Yes, Mr. Newton will be the first volunteer to receive the vaccine before human trials start. Vaccines are always tested on monkeys before they are tested on humans. When the Prime Minister Priyat Chinachar asked in a meeting for volunteers, Mr. Newton proposed himself as the first in Thailand to receive the jab, Mr. Saksayam said. Mr. Newton, as well as being the Health Minister, is the Deputy Prime Minister as well. He said if the experiment can proceed according to plans, Thailand might have good news about the vaccine next year. And if you don't know who Mr. Newton is, he's the one that wanted all the dirty for lungs kicked out of Thailand for not wearing masks. But hats off to the man, hats off to him. Now he's, he's going to save a monkey and take the vaccine himself before human trials. And that's what I call a true Deputy Prime Minister. He may even get a free banana with the vaccine. Thailand safe from salmon Chinese coronavirus outbreak. Yes, they've been saved. Thailand safe from coronavirus infection and salmon imports. The fisheries department has just stated 
Authorities have moved to quell fears of a second wave. Chinese coronavirus outbreak in China could spread to Thailand via imported salmon. China said on that a new outbreak of the virus had been traced to imported salmon processed at Beijing's Shin Fadi market. The news rocked confidence in the Thai seafood market since Thailand imports large shipments of salmon. I'll just stop the story. Let's have a look at how uh, salmon catch the Chinese coronavirus. Now, according to the Global Times, the Chinese coronavirus was detected on a chopping board in a market in China used for chopping imported salmon. Now, this wonderful piece of information has caused a global ban on a salmon in China. But what the Global Times forgot to mention was that fish can't get the Chinese coronavirus. Only mammals can. Maybe it was a little bit of uh, cross-contamination, um, just a thought. So maybe not a Chinese nationwide ban on salmon, a nationwide ban on cutting boards would be more appropriate. Anyway, back to the story. Where was I? Yes. However, the raw salmon products are shipped from China to Thailand, said Fisheries Department Director General Misak Pakadikong. Most salmon imports are processed and imported according to strict international standards, he added. Moreover, there is no evidence that fish can carry the Chinese coronavirus since their respiratory systems are different from those of mammals, said the Director General. That's exactly right. Fisheries Department Director General, you want to tell China that? Seems like they're a little confused. <laughs> Tourist banned from first wave of travel bubble, says Anutan. Anutan Chan Virakan is the Thailand Health Minister and Deputy Prime Minister, if you don't know who he is. The travel bubble scheme will open first to business groups and international school teachers who can be easily tracked not a general tourist said health minister Anutin chan virakon he was speaking after meeting with japanese ambassador nishida kasaya japan is among the countries deemed at low risk for the chinese coronavirus contingent that are being considered for the travel bubble about 20,000 foreign business people, Thai work permit holders and international school students and teachers have registered to return to Thailand, according to the government's Centre for COVID-19 Situation Administration. On a side note about Anutin Chan Virakon, Anutin has said he was ready to be injected with the prototype vaccine for Chinese coronavirus as part of medical trials. Several Thai research programs are currently seeking a vaccine for the virus. A Newton Chan of Viracon will go down in history as Thailand's first <laughs> Mazda rolls out its new BT50 for 2021. And it's a tidy looking pickup actually. While Toyota has gone controversial with a rather wild looking face of its second Hilux Revo facelift, Mazda has stayed conservative with its all new pickup. Now entering a new generation, the BT50 has completely redesigned inside and out and has a totally different engine, platform and bodywork. Isuzu will handle production for the BT50 at its Summit Prakon facility in Thailand, with Australia being the first market to get its hands on the new BT150 later on in the year. The BT50 has all new body and all new motor and all new gearbox, all new running gear, and it is no longer based on the Ford Ranger. The new Mazda BT50 will go on sale in Thailand later this year, and prices have yet to be announced. <laughs> 